My name is Bilal, I'm 42 years old, and I live in Kansas City, Missouri. I am what you would call hood bougie. <laughs> Pause, pause. <laughs> Yo, no cap, ain't nobody better give TLC no credit for the edits. Like, I done did this myself. Like, they were on some boring shit. Hood bougie. Boring. Like, to be honest with you guys, when I was first watching this scene, I was thinking, oh no, TLC done goofed, uh, big mistakes, bad ratings. Like, ain't nobody trying to watch Oh Boring Below talk about hood bougie, but I want to see some funny shit. Yes. Like the no-neck Eds, the, the blue pill Genos, the, the granny pimpers, the I pay $90,000 and, and sacrifice my whole life for Stella Capella in Ukraine and turn out to be Fugazi Fugazi. Fugazi Fugazi, it's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a f fairy dust. It, it's not fucking real. <laughs> but I should have known, like, I should have known better. It's still see we talking about. Like, it really don't matter if the train's coming in slow, hot, fast, cold, on a dime, on a row. <laughs> like, the train is coming, and it's coming right off the cliff. Shoo! Ain't that right, Bilal? <laughs> so without further ado... <laughs> but what's up, squad? We back at it with another 90 day fiasco disaster! <laughs> I mean, what can I say? Let's get straight to it! Let's get straight to it. <laughs> so today we have old boring below and of course his young looking Betty from Trinidad and Tobago, Shida. You like me up inside and make me come alive. You know you hit me like, 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 like. She's 37 years old. She's a yoga instructor. I'm sitting here enjoying this beautiful weather. And she's from Trinidad and Tobago. Love you. Hey, yo, pause. Hold up. First and foremost, hey yo, what the fuck? Like, where y'all finding these flexible ass women? Like, I have women out here complaining about back pains from walking, and she over here playing Tetris with her body. You light me up inside, da 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 da. <laughs> but hey, good looking out, hunk. Like, like that's an underrated wifey ability, know what I mean? Like, if you squiddy with it, <laughs> like an octopus. What? Hmm. Hey, don't make me look stupid now. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyways, apparently she slid in the DMs. You know, shout out Charlotte S. Curry. And you already know what's going in. I, I mean, look at her. She's 37 and looks 19. Like, I don't even know why she was even on the market. Like, I mean, that's gotta be like a red flag or something, but we'll see. Now, Shida and I had some mutual friends on uh, social media. Out of the blue one day, she got into the DMs. I thought she was very beautiful. And that's when I made plans to, to visit her. I'm gonna bring a ring just in case. And just in case did come to pass. Brother, I know you be on Facebook flexing and all that other I stuff. I really don't. Women could be yeah. blinded by yeah. the lights, the glitz, and the glamour of For what sure. she thinks you have. Yikes. I don't really know if I believe all this, but according to him, he been like two, three steps ahead on the chessboard, hiding wealth and resources from Shida. I purposely like, don't show what I have. But still somehow, some way, finding ways to flex money on social media. <laughs> like, what? Sounds a little weird. Man, I'm telling y'all, like, these new money onks be wildin' on Facebook. Wildin'! Now look, I totally get the concern. Like, the man has kids, probably relatives, families, ambitions, endeavors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So he not trying to fumble half the bag to shut it. I Stop. really don't. After already fumbling half the bag to his ex-wife, Shahida, who just so happened to be the one giving him advice about fumbling the bag. <laughs> Is she going to sign a prenup? Are you going to be protecting your assets? Let's keep it a buck. For the kids' sake, she probably trying to protect that bag. <laughs> Hell, I would. I want to be able to protect, you know, for the kids. Yeah, I get what you're saying. But cool. Makes sense. But what don't make sense is why the hell would you get engaged in like seven days, have a whole spiritual marriage? It's like a marriage. It's a spiritual union under the eyes of God. We are married. Go through the old visa process, get women all invested, and now we're talking about fumbling the bag? <laughs> like what? Sounds a little weird. Like this should have been addressed way before the engagement. How? Before you even consider engagement. You see what I mean? Like, Duke got it all backwards. Like, bro, you're not playing chess. You're just playing games at this point. Wildin! Today's the day that Shida comes in town. It's been a long process, a long wait. Today is the big day. I know, right? <laughs> 
Well, as far as a relationship, I do see some red flags. It's like, you know, she's 37 and actually never been married. And then never really been out on her own. She, uh, she had, I think she's been engaged actually like twice. Engaged uh, twice? Oh my God. Um, there's a, for sure, like a lot Ooh. of nervousness there. What? Nervous? Boy, I would be panicking. I wish some luck. <laughs> Man, like I told y'all, 37 looking that bad? And, and you ain't wiped up? Mm. Chinese communist parade alert. Ah! Like the crazy thing was the sister was like, so uh, you figured out why all the engagements kind of like fell through? So did she tell you like the reasons why? What was it? Um, and he basically said, nope, nada. But you know what they say, third time's a charm. <laughs> hey, yo boy, what? <laughs> Hey, this boy better be sleeping on Lucky Charms. Well, them tricks are for kids. Ooh, that's a bar. Ah! But speaking on tricks, so the man decided to set up this whole prank, pretending to be a broke boy to test her loyalty. And I can tell you right now, this plan is so stupid, it's bonkers. Something ain't right with it. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to immediately come to actually the home. I'm putting Shy to the test oh a little God. bit because I want to make sure that Shy truly wants me for me and not for what I have. You know, like, if I did live here, would you still be with me? Would you still want to be with me? What the hell? Here we are. Here we are. Do you think your prank could backfire? I don't think so. I'm hoping that she'll find it funny. So Einstein here thought it was a good idea to, to pretty much use this quote unquote rundown family home and a pedo van to detest whether or not Shad is a gold digger. But what I don't get is, you've been vetting this woman for two years, 365 days times two, and you can't figure that out? Sounds a little weird. So he goes through the whole process of setting up this rundown home to make it look like he actually resides in it. Like the her, he's from the CIA. Like anytime she has to see casa, car, living situation, he's like, no, no. And this is all coming from like past trauma, baggage, previous bullshit that he probably hasn't sorted out. You know, I've obviously went through a divorce. You know, I have trust issues. When you have a broken heart, it's, you know, you never want to have that experience again. And she just so happened to be the first person in line to get dunked on. Bop. <laughs> I mean, sucks to suck, I guess, but, but hey, welcome to America, shut it. I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm like anxious, you know, it's like, I'm just kind of like antsy, like, you know, like. What? That is her. <laughs> 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 I just want to just get to know him all over again, to be quite honest. I'm looking forward to see a lot of things. You know, he has been hiding from me. Let's be real. So I'm looking forward to going home, seeing his house, seeing his car. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's looking wild right now. I mean, to be fair, he was wilding out way before this. Like, speaking gibberish. I can finally, like, smell your aroma. What? Yeah, Steve, I don't think that's the right usage of the word aroma. I can finally, like, smell your aroma. Sounds a little weird. I mean, I'm sure Shadow would be happy to know she, she's being compared to, like, a Caribbean mango. No, no. So anyways, he decides to still go through with the whole prank. You know, starting out with the white van. And let's just say she's from the 20. You playing with fire right now? And last I checked, you're not Zuka the Firebender. Ha! Got him! Yeah. Oh, you thought this? No. I like you, you know, I know you like big, big cars. Scooby Doo Van Dave? Uh -huh. Out in front? Yeah, no, right here. Bilal! What's that? You didn't put my things in all this trash. That's not trash. This is trash. Take a seat on a little rat or something. Oh my God. This place looking like sun, put on sun. I'm starting to understand why he was hiding everything from me. I am panicking. What is next? What do I have to expect now? I mean, despite her being a little rude, uh, low-key, I'd be panicking too. I mean, if I'm a woman, been talking to this guy for two years, knowing he'd been very sus about the financials, like, I don't know where you'd be living, like, how you'd be living, what he pulling up on. Like, man, out here acting like a whole vigilante, all mysterious and she. I'm Batman. No, you're not. You're fucking weird. <laughs> Got you women look, you be eating it up too. Like, y'all love that stuff. <laughs> Don't cap now. But me making dummy decisions, like, I'm gonna go ahead and give up my whole Caribbean life to go be his trusty wife. Sounds a little weird. And the first day I pull up, like, no flowers? No balloons? Like, we walking out and I see this van, window cover and all? Boy! <laughs> Boy! Boy, I'm about to get kidnapped. Like, this human trafficking 101. Like, my kidney's about to be on a black market for 50 cents. Hell, if it wasn't for the TLC cameras, like, boy, we about to square up. Like, I ain't going down without a fight. Like, I'm going down swinging like a T-Rex. So you better pull up with that Mercedes or we better get crazy. <laughs> 
But uh, if you thought she was tripping now, wait till you see this. Right. Hey. Yeah, I gotta get that done. Oh my God. This is the home, babe? This is home. <sighs> this place is dilapidated. You good? I was not expecting this. <laughs> you don't expect what? For me? You're justifying everything. We can, you can do better, we can when, do When better. did you read in the Quran where it says you need to provide a mansion? <laughs> this is not the person I fell in love with. This house does not represent who you are. Nothing about this house says you. I mean, she definitely have a point. And I'm not even trying to justify the rude comments because no lie, she was acting out of pocket. You want something to eat? Yeah, something that's from a clean bowl, yeah. Yeah, well, I can order something. You have enough room. money for that? Let's just imagine being her for a minute. Like, first and foremost, you may be wearing nice suits like 95% of the time. Like, according to her, when he came to Trini, he was rocking Louis bags, expensive watches, nice suits, blowing money left and right. You know, he had Louis Vuitton luggage. He dressed really nice, dapper, wearing expensive watches and belts. Come to find out, man living in a house with like 50 holes on the roof. <laughs> You know that song? There's some hoes in this house. There's some. <laughs> and we're not even talking about like her being 37, wanting a family. Like the clock is ticking. She already wasted two prime years with this guy. Like she can't afford to waste anymore. And remember, you left everything to come be with this guy in trust. And now, can you theoretically trust yourself to have kids with a man who looks financially incompetent while being on a K1 visa? Like she can't even break bread. No, no. From a guy perspective, that's kind of like you bagged who you thought was a young baddie. 10 out of 10. Check all the boxes. Come to find out, she wake up no makeup, and it's Smeagol. And this man is sick, like, like, he enjoying this. He enjoying all the gaslight. Man woke up the next morning wearing a shirt that said, Be grateful. Ha! Got him. But anyways, it didn't take too long for him to give up the act and uh, show her the real casa. Welcome to your new home. This is where you'll be staying at. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, you know. <sighs> I'm really questioning some things about her right now. How you were last night, it kind of took me by surprise, but I wanted to show you that because I want to also talk about like appreciation. However, you know, you made up for it this morning for sure. Okay. Boy, boy, this dude stays with the father lessons. First I show you the hood, and then I show you bougie, and that's how we got hood. Like, what was the point in all of this, bro? Like, what was the point in all of this? So my final thoughts, my final lessons, don't get engaged in like seven days. <laughs> if you think she's a gold digger and for Shida, don't leave your Caribbean life to go be his trusty wife without at least knowing where the man lives. Like, come on, Shida. But nah, y'all perfect together. Like, y'all both a little, it's no go. <laughs> with that being said, uh, I think they're fighting about babies now. Like, she wants babies, obviously, and he doesn't know if he wants any more babies. Like. Where were these discussions prior to the engagement? Like, what are y'all doing out here? But yeah, that's all I gotta say about them. Um, honestly, <laughs> I'm like super tired if you guys can't tell. I can pass out right now. It's like 6 a.m. in the morning. <sighs> but anyways, keep a lookout for new videos. I might do Love is Blind next. I might do one of the Netflix shows. Who knows? <laughs> but if you want to see a specific show, put it down in the comments below. Specific couple, put it down in the comments below. Most likes I'll do it. Guaranteed. <laughs> but with that being said, y'all know what it is. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, share the video, help your boy out, it's your boy Sauce, and I'll catch you guys next time. Mwah. Oh, shit. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> I'm just sipping like, One rapper, two rapper, three rapper, four All these bodies in my closet, I know That most of my favorite rappers wasn't spitting like me At the age of 19, make a motherfucker think that my idols my rivals And I never lose, so my idols get slotted They're thrown in the trenches, I snipe from a distance like boom, pow I reload and I empty the clip on a pussy motherfucker With a link in his bio, like single day Mayo, y'all impersonate Sorry guys, I'm gonna go to Look, mom. Small and dated. Oh, them suits he just put on. I wonder if he was renting them suits. Ha! Got him.